Hey, my name is Dawn Chube and I'm the founder of Live Selling School. I help small to medium retailers navigate the exciting world of live and video commerce, otherwise known as live stream shopping. I have five key strategies for you for mastering the art of remote selling. But first of all, why the heck would you believe anything I have to say? I'm a national TV home shopping host and I know exactly what it takes to connect authentically with customers through the screen. I have personally sold over $30 million in products across pretty much every category imaginable from fashion to fitness to home decor, skincare, makeup, electronics. I think that's it. <laughs> I know exactly the strategies involved in bringing your live stream to life. Remote selling, live and video commerce is essentially the same thing as TV home shopping. It's leveraging modern technology while maintaining the fundamental principles of customer conversion through one-to-one -one consultation, workshops, and of course my HSH method and live selling school are your go-to resources if you are a brand or brand associate who wants to increase sales by bringing personality and authenticity to your e-commerce strategy. Ready? Let's go. Here are my five key strategies for mastering the art of remote selling. Number one, expand your vocabulary. When selling a product, it is crucial to offer vivid descriptions and if you can, live demonstrations to help your customer experience through you what they can't touch, taste, or try on for themselves. If you're selling a cashmere sweater, for example, you're going to have to remember that remote selling doesn't allow you to have them touch it or try it on. So when describing the softness, you have to be a little bit more creative than using such a subjective word, right? We all have a different idea of what soft is. How about kitten belly soft? right? Well, that gives them something that they can relate to or imagine. Number two, leverage authenticity and build trust. Trust equals sales. One of my strongest categories as a TV home shopping host was beauty. And I think a lot of it had to do with the fact that I wasn't afraid to be vulnerable, to demonstrate my own personal transformation, and also to show the customer that yes, it was possible for them, but also to show them how easy it was to do for themselves. Basically, if I can do it, so can you. So before selling makeup, I would always show a picture of me before with no makeup on. In doing this, they could really see that I was truly a real person just like them with uneven skin tone and dark circles. I would emphasize that I personally did my makeup on myself with no help from anyone, no special makeup artist. I would even share some of my personal techniques to help take away that intimidation. Number three, incorporate demonstrations or offer other visual confirmation. I mean, let's face it, telling someone that a product has stretch is not nearly as impactful as stretching it on the camera. Telling someone how simple it is to make a fancy coffee using the machine you're selling, it isn't enough. You need to not only show them, but you can also go through that extra step in describing how that finished product tastes and how it makes you feel. See strategy one. If there's nothing to demonstrate, remember you are doing remote selling. So use all the tools in your toolbox. Use other visual elements like graphics. All you have to do is share your screen. Number four, work through the layers of why. Dig deep into the reasons why a customer might want or need your product. Understand their motivations and address them thoroughly. For example, if I were selling a red lipstick, I would formulate my pitch, the hook, the CTAs, the permission to buy, the objection handling, the proof, you get the idea. Imagine the customer countering every statement you make with the word why. You need this red lipstick. Why? Because it's universally flattering on everyone. Why? The formulation works with your own pH, so it automatically becomes that perfect for you red. This one tube works for all skin tones. No expensive trial and error. Okay, why do I need a red lipstick? Well, studies show that the color red gives people confidence. Why does that matter? 
Well, who couldn't use a little more confidence? And it doesn't have to cost a lot to get it. You might not be able to afford a red power suit, but a lipstick that makes you feel like you can take over the world? Add to cart! And by the way, you can go down as many layers of why as you like. And finally, number five, optimize your selling environment. The virtual environment, it's not just a platform. It's a crucial part of the selling experience. So pay attention to your background. Make sure it's clean and professional. And obviously that's a sliding scale depending on your business. Use proper lighting to make sure that you are well lit and visible. Also notice, right? I have a microphone, so get the best quality sound as you can. This helps create an engaging and trustworthy experience for the customer. How you do anything is how you do everything. Wear pants instead of PJ bottoms. And unless you wear bare feet to an in-person meeting, consider wearing your shoes. The client might never see anything below the waist and they may have just rolled out of bed and shown up as they are themselves, but you know how you showed up for the client. And I believe it truly sets your own tone for the call. I hope that helps. If you do need more guidance or you have any questions, please reach out to me. You can find me, livesellingschool.com.